everybody. Your man, Fit Man. And today's topic on Four Matters, we are going to investigate how to properly execute one of the great alternatives for the conventional deadlift, the trap bar deadlift. Now, let's get into the three cues that will allow you to properly execute the trap bar deadlift. Cue number one, you want to center yourself inside of the trap bar. So what we wanna do is we need to place ourselves directly in the center of the bar. What this does is that as we lock ourselves in to perform a rep, now we are maximizing the involvement of our legs and we're minimizing the involvement of our back. If we begin the movement at the front of the trap bar and we try to lock it in here, or we begin the movement at the back of the trap bar and we try to lock it in here, then guess what? You are setting your lower back up for an absolute disaster, okay? You're going to put too much strain on your lower back. So place yourself in the center of the trap bar to minimize the stress that your back will receive. Cue number two, you want to remain more upright to minimize the stress on your lower back. Now, one of the reasons that many trainees and many lifters love to perform the trap bar deadlift is that the nature of the movement with you being in the center, with you having the leverage, dictates that your lower body, your legs, are going to do the majority of the work. But if you don't put your body in the proper position, you can still end up putting more stress on your back. So what do you have to do? As we enter the trap bar directly in the center and we lock in here, all right, eyes forward, chest up, hips down, knees out. This position, if I stand up here, I'm very upright. This ensures that my lower body is doing the majority of the work. If I pick this up and I just bend over and stand up here, now my lower back is doing the majority of the work and we don't want that. So make sure that you remain more upright for the duration of the movement to maximize your leg involvement and to minimize your lower back involvement. Cue number three, what constitutes proper form in the trap bar desert? So, we are going to place ourselves directly in the center of the trap bar. We're gonna bend over, just like an RDL, push our hips back, we're gonna grab the bar. Now, from this position, you wanna make sure the bar is straight across as it is. You don't want this bar to be down, you don't want this bar to be back. If you try to pull from that position, you're going to put excessive strain on your lower back, and that's not what we want. So, again, bend, pull the slack out of the bar, lock in. Sink those hips down, put those knees out, because we need all the hip help that we can get. Eyes are forward, chest is up, and stand. Bend over, just like an RDL. Reload, stand. Bend over, just like an RDL. Reload, and stand, all right? That is what you're looking for when it comes to proper execution of your trap bar deadlift. What you don't want to do are some of the things that I've seen over my career in the iron game. So, you don't want to be this guy or girl. And you don't want to be this person. Yeah, smash. Yeah, smash. Yeah, come on, man. These aren't real reps. We talk about this week in and week out on four matters. Fake hustle reps build a fake hustle body. You've got to avoid them at all costs, all right? Utilize a full range of motion and proper form in the trap bar deadlift to maximize the benefits that you will receive from the movement. Implement these cues into your trap bar deadlift today and I promise you that you will finally be able to maximize on the gains in strength and the gains in muscle that you will receive from the movement. Hits! Your man's fit, man. Holla at a trainer.
when you see me at the center.